Hello our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our revision session and today we are looking at Mathematics N1 and the topic that I chose for you is the subject of formula. Usually it's called change of the subject of formula and I just brought in a question and from one of the previous papers it was worth four marks and you are supposed to it says uh, as you can see the topic is subject of formula it's under algebra and then it says make p the subject of the formula so given that we are supposed to make p the subject of the formula meaning at the end of the day you must have p is equal to whatever in terms of t pi and g now there are a few concepts here that i want to go through for you to be able to effectively make uh, that t this i mean p the subject of the formula so remember we are looking at p and there is our p there now how do you separate pre p from whatever we have first things first you have got 2 pi and the square root you need to know that the 2 pi and the square root are multiplying there or you can just say they have a bracket in there so just need to know that is 2 pi actually is 2 times pi times whatever we're having and having done that the first things first is to get rid of this particular 2 pi so that we're left only with the square root and remember I said 2 pi is multiplying uh, that square root so the opposite of multiplication you have to divide now don't be tempted remember don't be tempted to take this 2 pi so that it crosses the equal sign and you have got 2 t minus 2 pi equal to whatever you're having that method is wrong why because you have a multiplication sign there the only time you can take 2 pi to the other side is either when they have a negative sign or there is a positive sign then you can manage to make it cross to the other side now if there is a multiplication sign here the only thing to do is to do the opposite of multiplication and the opposite of multiplication is division so you divide by 2 pi and what you do on the left you do on the right you divide by 2 pi so that you can scratch out the 2 pi and when you have done that when 2 pi is gone what you have therefore is t over 2 pi is equal to square root of p over g so that is how you need to get rid of that 2 pi now the next part that you need to do if i can just show you a few things here the next thing that i need to do is to understand what that square root means when you see a sign like this it means there is a bracket and the power there is a half that's what it means and then when you see a sign like that maybe there is a number three there it means there is a bracket and the power there is one over three so when you see an n we call that nth root or uh, you you have a bracket and you've got one over n so remember that this is what we mean when we've got a, a keep root now why is it that in the first one is called a 2 because by default this is called a square root so when it's a square root sometimes actually the calculator does not indicate the number there so when you see no number and you just see that sign you must know that particular number there is a 2 it means square root sign so when you have done that I mean when you've uh, got that knowledge so what you need to do or what you need to know is also in our question here there is a hidden 2 there and because of that hidden 2 what we we are having when we simplify if i can just write it here so what we are having is we are having t is equal to i mean t over 2 pi is equal to then i put that bracket as i said it's p over g and the power there is 1 over 2 that's what it means now for me to be able to get rid of that power 1 over 2 i need again you see it's 1 over 2 and i need to multiply by the inverse of 1 over 2 meaning i need to multiply 
that power by 2 over 1 and what I do on the left I must do on the right so I must put a bracket like that now whenever there is uh, no power indicated it means it's power 1 because power 1 doesn't change anything and I also must multiply by 2 over 1 so that is what you do what you do on the left you need to do on the right I multiplied by 2 over 1 the reason being 1 over 2 times 2 over 1 is a 1 you can test that and say uh, with the calculator 1 over 2 times 2 over 1 you see that it gives me a 1 so in other ways the 2 and the 2 will cancel so that I can I've got one remaining that is how you can get rid of that particular square root so what you have now will be t over 2 pi and then remember now 1 times 2 over 1 it is now to the power of 2 it is equal to p over g that's what we're having and then at that stage remember we are making p the subject of the formula we need to get rid of the fraction which is the g so we need to multiply now again everything by g over 1 just like we did by 2 over 1 and then again on the left hand side you multiply by g over 1 remember g over 1 is just g and then when you do that you have got t over 2 pi squared and then times g which will be g is equal to now what you did there the g will cancel the g and then you are left now with the p so the question said make p the subject of the formula you can see that you have managed to separate or remain with p alone or you can therefore write it and say therefore if you want to simplify say therefore p is equal to you can start with g if you want or you can still write it the way it was which is t over 2 pi and then that is squared that is how you solve that but in most cases what we we understand is as students and the markers you need to know that from this stage I'm not doing it from this stage from this stage we also understand that uh, you know what a square root means so you are allowed also to take it from here and say already I'm just going to put a bracket and then I say squared by doing that you are doing this process that I did here this particular process that I did there is the same thing that you are doing when there is a square root and you do that it is acceptable you can simple do that and then what you will do then you are going to say t over 2 pi is equal to uh, p over g that is accepted and then from there you now multiply by your g you multiply by your g oh sorry about that before that one uh, remember what you do on the left I'm forgetting you must do on the right so you need also to come here and you say square so when you do that so you'll be having that is a squared as I said you multiply by g and multiply by g so that the g uh, is gone as a, uh, as a um, fraction so what you have now is therefore you can start with that p there say right p is equal to g t over 2 pi bracket squared which is uh, the same answer that I got in this case so that is the same way of doing something the only method here by squaring is you already understand that the square root means power half so that is how you can solve it now we've come to the end of our lesson remember guys to subscribe to our channel so that you can also benefit more from these videos and if you turn on that notification bell YouTube is going to always alert you whenever there is a new video that we are posting and you'll be able to be getting the um, updates in real time whenever there is a new video. Also remember to share this channel with your friends and colleagues and there are more resources that you can benefit from our N1. You can also get the test book of Mathematics N1. You can purchase it from Take A Lot. I have a test book 
of Mathematics N1 that has got all the solutions, not only as the textbook, but it also comes with videos. So when you've got the videos, you can actually, it's more like you've got a teacher in front of you who's assisting you. So grab hold of our resources. I hope you will benefit as you prepare for your final exams. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.